Okay, good morning. Lou Depot back here again. And now we're going to go over that chart that has all the math in it that's necessary for you guys to be able to determine the water temperature you're going to send out of your boiler through the radiant tubes to achieve that BTU you're looking for per square foot. Normally between 20 and 30. It's a larger chart. I whited some of it out for a reason because when you're doing residential, you're normally between 20 and 30. For snow melt and commercial buildings, it could be a different story. We'll remove the rest of the whiting off the chart and show you that at the end, but not to be too confusing. It's hard to look at a chart with a lot of numbers, so I whited some of it out for a reason. But this is going to show you exactly what temperature of water you've got to send through the tubing to achieve that BTU per square foot. It's very necessary and important, so we're going to look at the chart now. As you can see in this white area here, this is the water temperature. On the left-hand side, it's the BTUs required per square foot. Normally between 20, this up to this line, this is 20 in here, this is 25 in here, and this is 30, these top two lines per square foot. As you can see, 0.5 which is probably mud tile, that's R, the resistance, the R value, 0.5, very little. The radiant gets through it very easy, probably tile. 1.0 to 1.5 is wood, normally oak wood floors. Once you get to 2 and larger, that's carpet and carpet with padding. So very easily, 0.5 tile, which is this line here, if you were to want to achieve 20 BTUs per square foot, if you have 9-inch space loops, you need 92-degree water. If you have 6-inch space loops, you need 90-degree water. As you can see, that that's with tile. Once you start getting to thick wood floors or carpet, the water temperature gets higher. To achieve 20, degree, 20 BTUs per square foot, you start to need 105-degree water at 12-inch spaces and 102-degree water for 9-inch space loops. As you want to achieve higher heat, 25 BTUs per square foot at 6-inch loops. With tile, you would need 95-degree water. And as you can see, with hardwood floors, 108. And as carpet, the water temperature gets higher, 120, 133, 145. Now, don't forget, this will give you floor surface temperatures on this side of 78 and 81 or 83, the floor surface temperature. As the water temperature gets higher, the floor surface temperature is going to get higher also. And on the top, by the way, this is the spread of the pipe and spacing in inches, this pink shaded line. So I'll back it up a little bit so you can get a full view of the chart. That's really what's important is between that 20... 25 and 30 BTUs per square foot for you residential guys. Okay, now I'll move the paper. Oh, we'll go this way. And as you can see, as the R value gets harder for the heat to travel through, these numbers go up here to the thick carpet the water temperature gets way higher to achieve those BTUs, and at one point it's pinked out because you're not even going to get it. Okay, this should help you a lot with your math. 